um, whether here in the UK, basically, it's I feel like um, every person who lives here, especially like you know, um, British people, who would like would like complain as much as we are complaining about their weather as well, because weather here is really. guys it's Danica and welcome back to my channel if you're new here in this channel then I encourage you to click on the subscribe button below and also the bell button beside it so that you will be notified every time that we have an update anyway guys if you're new here my name is Danica I'm a registered nurse in the Philippines and also here in the UK and if you've been watching me for quite some time now I initially was a an emergency nurse here in the UK and I just recently transferred to the ophthalmology or eye clinic here in the UK last December 2021 so yeah if you're interested about nursing vlogs and life here in the UK then please do do subscribe so that you'll get notified so yeah anyway guys for today's video is requested by one of my subscribers I can't remember what's her name now but I'll try to find out um, her comment about this one and I'll just try to put it somewhere here on the screen so yeah thanks to you <laughs> so our topic for today would be the weather here in the UK. So I know some of you would like be thinking like, why is she making a vlog about like weather in the UK? Is that even necessary <laughs> or something like that? So yeah, I think it is and <laughs> you should know this. This is like a basic, you know. So when I came here in the UK, I, I just know that they have four seasons, winter, spring, summer and fall. So yeah, that's what I know. And basically, I just knew that, you know, it's just gonna be generally cold. So yeah, where do I begin? So they have um, winter, spring, summer, and fall. But fall here, they um, call it autumn more than fall. It's like an American thing when you say like fall. So yeah, at this moment, I'm filming this January 8, 2022. So this is probably the coldest months now, January to February. So winter here starts around um, maybe third or fourth week of December up till like around last week of March, something like that. But it's definitely getting and getting and getting and getting colder. So we just actually went, went out to eat in a restaurant in town and it's really chilling, it's really freezing out there so yeah it's definitely the coldest month so if you're gonna be coming here in the uk around february i suggest <laughs> you'll be pre you get prepared for the cold not necessarily like you bring like um your winter stuff because if you don't anyway because it might be you know heavy because you know gonna be like thicker and like heavier clothes for the cold um there's loads of shops or like you know there's primark here which sells really cheap clothing so if in case you don't have like for example your gloves or your beanies or um what fleece leggings or something like that like to prepare you for the cold there's a lots of option here so don't worry about it so just bring maybe few or couple and then just um you know um buy some here anyway so it might get a little bit like warmer around i'd say june so that's probably now like summer so winter winter spring <laughs> so spring spring is fine but it's still pretty cold but not as cold as winter and then yeah summer so I love summer here. So it's around again, let's say like June to around June, July, August. So maybe until maybe around September, second to third week, it's still fine. Cause I know that cause it was my birthday. And like when we came here, it was around September, was it? Yeah. Oh no, August, end of August. So it's still like pretty much summer that time. And up till the end of September, I still remember we're still fine. So around that time, it's really, it's really okay. <laughs> I love the weather. So of course, if you're gonna ask me what's the best, um, what's my favorite like season, it's gonna be summer. <laughs> I think. So, yeah. so yeah, weather here in the UK, basically it's, I feel like um, every person who lives here, especially like, you know, um, British people 
would like would like complain as much as we are complaining about their weather as well because weather here is really unpredictable it's not even like changing but i'd say it's just really unpredictable one minute it's sunny the next minute it's rainy even though like you, you check like your um weather app <laughs> it's not like very accurate it changes like every single day and you know when we had this trip to saint michael's mount it's not supposed to be really cold <laughs> but i ended up like needing to buy a jacket just because i didn't bring like loads for the cold because I was expecting a you know <laughs> a hot weather or like not so cold weather but it, I ended up needing one and it's so annoying because that cost me like money again to buy like jacket whereas I do have lots of jackets and coats around here so yeah you just never know so I suggest if you come here and like you think it's gonna be like warm just you know if you're gonna go for a long trip or something just bring something like warmer because you don't know when it really gets cold sometimes even though it's not winter there are days that it's just gonna be like freezing and the wind makes it worse as well and i can cope with like cold and like windy but the thing is with the rain oh gosh um it's pretty bad really because like um windy rainy cold it's it's just really worse you know so yeah, yeah. this time as well you know sunset here would be like maybe it starts like um quarter to four until like 4 4 p.m here is like really really dark already so a while ago even though it's just like around 5 to 6 p.m it's really dark outside so like it really affects my mood as well sunrise here would be around like 8 a.m so it's again it's really a struggle i think it's a thing when you're coming from like an asian country you know especially in a tropical country like the philippines you know even though like um it's it's early in the morning because of the sunlight it makes it you know like you feel much better like you know you need to like start your day now but here it's like gosh it's still gloomy and stuff so yeah even though like it's even weird as well because there might be like points like 30 seconds like really bright light like sunlight and then suddenly oh, <laughs> it's gonna be like dark so it's just really moody more moody than women's mood <laughs> i'd say yeah so yeah but during the summer as well it's gonna be like bright up until maybe like 8 to 9 p.m so it's really good i really love summer a lot <laughs> so yeah here as well they have daylight savings so from the word they say daylight savings so they do adjust the time so it happens um is it november and march just to adjust with you know the winter season coming and ending as well so from the last time it normally happens on a sunday so last sunday of november i believe every last sunday of november and every every last sunday of march so during last november so they adjusted the time so the time difference now in the philippines is actually eight hours that's because the the clock um goes back when it hits like 2 a.m so instead of um 2 a.m it goes back to 1 59 so you know they're adjusting the time daylight saving in march it's gonna be the clock will be moving forward so instead of hitting like 2 a.m it goes like 3 a.m so one hour forward as well so basically that's just how it works so yeah at work i don't know they were saying it's not really compensated or anything so either which of the daylight saving you just work at it as it is because it's just you know part of you know the adjustment of time so, yeah. so one thing more it's not really common to bring an umbrella when it's really sunny so <laughs> i can confirm that because i can't really see people here like um putting up their like umbrella during the summer i mean everyone here like just loves the sunlight during summer you'll see like people here like you know sometimes stopless walking or like they're sunbathing they <laughs> they really like the sun so i think that's why they're not protecting themselves from the sun but yeah it's not really common here it's like you might feel weird as well putting up like an umbrella <laughs> during the summer so they normally just use like umbrella when it's really rainy not even when it's drizzling actually it's not pretty common here as well <laughs> so like with me in the philippines right like just you know drizzle you would like put up your umbrella just a little bit of sunlight or like because it's very hot you just put up your umbrella but here it's not really common you just put on your hoodie when it's drizzling 
but yeah I can't really cope with that as well so lately because I'm walking um, going to work um, I bought a raincoat and a shoe cover as well I know it might be weird I feel like I'm kind of weird because it's not really like a common thing but like hello I don't really want to get wet so whatever you think of me I'm an Asian you know <laughs> I don't just want to get wet you know so yeah um, it's not pretty common to use an umbrella really <laughs> Just so you know, <laughs> but it is fine, you know. Yeah. So if you want to also start like a conversation to a British person or someone, pretty common topic. Let's talk about the weather, like you know, the weather today is like gloomy and stuff. It is a pretty like common, you know, when you have like small dogs, weather, 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 weather. Yeah, it is. It is just really unpredictable. It's probably one of the main things that I don't really like living in this country, like the weather. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just because it's unpredictable, you know. Yeah, I think that's it for the weather. I don't know if I've missed something. Anyway, you're gonna experience it when you come here. Um, yeah, it's just the worst times really because it's just really cold. But other than that, it's really a lovely country, I'd say. So, yeah, I'm just thinking what else would I need to add? But yeah, I think that's it really. If you have any further questions about the weather, <laughs> just comment down below and I'll try to answer them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and you learned something and like, you know, you should be prepared that this is the weather in the UK. <laughs> so yeah, very different from, you know, if you're coming from an Asian country. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!